The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said that intense work is underway to meet the Tejas Mark II deadline, and that the first Tejas Mark II prototype powered by F-414 engine will conduct its first flight in December 2024. HAL has received clearance to start work on six Tejas Mark II prototypes, and it is also engaging with the private sector to expedite production of the F-414 engines. The first three prototypes will be almost production-ready aircraft, focusing on developmental flight trials and certifying all systems, while the remaining three prototypes will concentrate on air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons trials, and it will be ready for induction in 2028. The Central Cabinet Security Papers seeking approval for the full-scale engineering development of the AMCA Mark I aircraft have been duly submitted to the DRDO Headquarters of Scientific Advisor for Processing. The Aeronautical Development Agency has confirmed that the AMCA Mark I fuselage has been optimized to accommodate the 98 kN F414 engine, but the AMCA Mark II variant will require minimal modifications to its air intakes and fuselage to accommodate a new high-thrust engine. The RDO and French firm Safran will embark on the development of a new jet engine that will share the same dimensions as the American F-414, which will require minimal modifications to the AMCA Mark II. The RDO's gas turbine research establishment has upgraded its test cell, with a secondary power system cradle, making it capable of conducting performance tests for the powerful F-414 INS-6 engines, that will power the upcoming Tejas Mark II and AMCA Mark I. With the upgraded test cell, GTRE now has four engine test cells for normally aspirated conditions, and an additional test cell specifically designed to simulate inlet flight conditions up to max 0.4, and this enhanced testing infrastructure will enable the evaluation and optimization of engine performance under realistic flight conditions. Duxa Unman Systems has won a significant contract worth 165 crore rupees from the Indian Army to supply 200 DHHM medium altitude logistics drones with accessories that will play a pivotal role in efficient and agile transportation of essential supplies to frontline troops. The drone is capable of lifting more than 4 kilograms of payload with an endurance of more than 4 hours to a maximum range of 20 kilometers. The company has stated that the order is scheduled to be delivered within the next 12 months. At a time when private sector firm Economic Explosive Limited has proposed to develop a 250 km range high mobility artillery rocket system, the former additional Director General of Artillery has expressed strong support for the development of a 300 km range rocket system for the upcoming rocket force that can launch a wide range of ammunition types from a single position, which will offer unparalleled flexibility to the Indian Army, saying that these long-range multiple rocket launchers are powerful enough to act as a deterrent. Oh, Mark, drop it.